video. I was not planning on making this, but I was um, detangling my hair. And I thought maybe I should come on here and show you guys how I do uh, this process after about two weeks of not combing my hair. I know that's ridiculous, but I just have not been feeling like it. Anyway, so what I did was this bottle here is mixed with this here conditioner. This conditioner has lots of slip. I love to use this for detangling. So I mixed it with water and this conditioner right here, okay? And put it in this bottle, all right? So I've already done this section and the section in the back. So now I'm working on the my hardest section, which is this middle section right here. The Lord have mercy, y'all. So I spray it on the section thoroughly, especially those roots. That's like my problem area my roots okay and make sure you get the end if you hear anything see I've never like to come on here and just talk to you guys because there's lots of noise in my house and then I have the freeway over here so my son is having a screaming party right now so excuse if you hear him screaming so I'm just putting this all over the section okay and I'm going to start finger detangling. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, I'm just gonna go through. And my hair is really tangled, you guys. I wanted y'all to see when it's really tangled and kind of matted. <laughs> This is how you detangle long natural hair because if you don't do it like this, if you don't detangle before you wash it, it is going to be a complete mess. Okay, I've done it before several times when I call myself uh, wanting to be lazy and not detangle my hair before I wash it. You know, it's just not a good thing. So much more of your hair comes out. It's just not a good thing for your hair you can easily your hair will break if you do that especially if you wait as long as two weeks um before detangling or washing your hair because i have not detangled my hair at all and i usually don't detangle in between washes i just i just don't <laughs> I'll probably speed this part up. Adventures or something, or um, 
time to find out. I don't know. I don't know the words, but I love the damn beat. I just love it. I love that song. It's a new song. Um. Anyway, but I was so relieved that Beyonce finally stood up for black people. Like, you know, and for the cause. That made me so happy because I'm like, why didn't she ever speak up about anything? She never does, in my opinion. She never does, you know, and she has that big platform. Oh, her platform is just, it's ridiculously big, like Oprah, you know? And she finally stood up and said something. I felt so proud, <sighs> so proud. And she from my hometown, Houston, Texas. That really made me proud. Seriously, y'all. Uh, I'm just glad she finally did something, you know? I wish she would have wore an afro like the rest of her dancers. You know, like a blonde afro or something. He just had to put on that old raggedy long hair. I hated that hair. I friggin' hated it, y'all. Okay, I'm going to separate this into two parts because it's kind of big. And I'm gonna take my wide tooth comb and I'm going to start at the end of my hair and detangle. And I don't know about y'all, but I am tired of Beyonce wearing those baby suits. That is so annoying. She, like, it's like she doesn't have any more costumes to wear. Like, she looks good in other stuff, you know? I don't know, maybe it's easier for her to dance in, but oh, it's so annoying. In that video, y'all, oh my God, that formation video. Mm, mm, mm. And tell me, <laughs> which one y'all like better? Cause I'm not even gonna tell y'all which one I like better. Beyonce or Rihanna? Who's it gonna be? Beyonce or Rihanna? I love me some Rihanna, y'all. I before Beyonce came out with this formation song, I would have definitely said Rihanna. But oh my gosh, I think it's just because of the message that she uh, was sending with this song it's just it, you can't even compare it like it's just it's amazing absolutely amazing you guys I'm so proud of her just period like she's an evolving 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 into a woman to me yeah. so look at that you see how easy that was for me to detangle it and then all I do is twist it up. Yeah, I know I'm looking at how mess, but it's okay. I'm thinking of my hair. And um, oh, I didn't mention that I put um, some of the Twine Naturals Peppermint Seed to Heal Scalp Elixir in my scalp. I put oil in my scalp already, okay? I do that um, before I pre-poo, before I do this step here. Okay, just in case y'all don't know what that is, it's this right here, all right? And if you wanna purchase some, you can use um, Natural Hair Obsession as a coupon code and you will get 15% off okay you will get 15% off you guys it's only $12.50 so and it is the best oil that you're going to use for your scalp detangling my hair um, <clears throat> I am going to shampoo my hair just like this I think I said in another video that this is, this is the easiest way to shampoo your hair. I made a video about it. I'm gonna, I'll put it right here. I just remember. 
another thing I wanted to let you guys know, I want to uh, send a huge shout out to Charnel Lene. You guys, she is absolutely amazing. Okay, so let me tell you real quick. I was on Periscope one day. I forgot what um, what my Periscope was called, but I was doing a Periscope. And I mentioned that I wanted the chocolate bar um, palette because I always see, uh, what is her name? My God, um, Chard Charday, Char oh my God, what is her name? Anaya Charday. Anaya Chardé is her name, yes. She always does these looks from the chocolate bar palette. And I'm like, oh. I mean, it just sounds delicious, you guys. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a foodie. It just sounds delicious, and they always say that it smells like chocolate, that I shall smell like chocolate. And she told me that, uh, I said, I want it so bad. And she put in the comments, she was like, I'll, I'll get you one or I'll send you one, something like that. And I was like, what? I was like, girl, you don't have to do that. And she was like, girl, you better accept your blessing. Okay, I will. <laughs> and she sent me the palette, you guys. Look at this. Just, I'm so happy. And the first look that I did was um, the look of uh, on my runway um, video, the Twisted Faux Hawk. I'll put that right here too. It's the video that I just put out. And this is the palette, you guys. Isn't it nice? I friggin' love it, okay? Let me open it up so y'all can see. Y'all probably have already seen this, I'm sure. The colors are so pretty. And I always just wanted to do like a chocolate look, so I will be using these in using these shadows in a lot of my videos because I don't too much like like the colored shadows that much. I'll wear them, but um, I like these neutrals, like that chocolate, uh, sexy look, you know, with a bold lip. Oh, love it, you guys. Anyway, so just wanted to uh, come back and show you guys um, my hair. And I'm about to shampoo it and I am going to use I go back and forth between these two shampoos let me show you these three shampoos because all three of these shampoos are absolutely amazing for your scalp and for your hair period they all have amazing ingredients and I've done reviews on all three of them the first one is the revitalized shampoo by hair la vie and I will Notate that video right here. Also, I use the Follow Cleanse uh, DS shampoo. This is amazing. Okay, and all of these shampoos are uh, good for people with with dandruff problems, dry scalp problems. Okay, and this Pure Body Naturals Argan Oil Ther Therapeutic shampoo. Okay, and I had a giveaway going on on this uh, shampoo. It has ended. I need to close it out on the video. And I need to pick a winner. It, I was supposed to be able to pick the winner. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> but I'll probably have that video out like tomorrow or something like that. But I will pick a, a winner for this shampoo. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay. All right, you guys. I will see you guys in another video. Peace.